In this video, I'm going to show you how you can load a website from a server running on your Mac over on your Vision Pro. Now, doing this is actually pretty straightforward, and I'm going to show an approach that does not require any sort of external tools or anything. And it's also pretty flexible, so as long as you can get a server running on your Mac, you should be able to also get it loading over on your Vision Pro as well. So let's take a look. Now, the first thing that we need is to make sure that our Mac and our Vision Pro are on the same wireless network. So just make sure they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that the two devices can see each other. To test this, you can see if the virtual display feature is, is available. So here I have my Vision Pro with a virtual display for my Mac here. That is indicating that these two are on the same network and can see each other. Now you do not actually need to have the virtual display active for this to work. I'm just using it in this case to show what my Mac is actually seeing here. Now, once you have everything set up on the same network, we're going to need two different pieces of information. The first is the address of the, or the port of our server that is running on our Mac here. So in this case, I am just going to use a simple um, HTTP server to serve up a static file here. So I have a static file. If I go down here, so let me open up VS Code and just show how I was actually launching this. So I'm using the HTTP server command, which is just available from NPM. And I'm gonna use that to serve up my web content. Again, I'm just serving up static web content here. So when I run this, it is by default going to run on port 8080. Um, other servers may run on different ports, and most servers will provide an option where you can go and specify a port as well. Once we have the uh, server actually running here, and so in this case, it is telling us that it's running on port 8080, um, we can go and confirm that we can access this by going to Safari on our Mac here, and we're going to go to localhost and then colon the port name. So in this case, it's gonna be localhost colon 8080. And when we load this, you should see our web content. Now, in this case, the page is just a very simple page with a counter that when I click on it is going to increment. So very simple, just kind of demonstrating interaction with a web page here. So now we have the port. The next piece of information we need is the IP address of our Mac on our local network. So the local IP address. Now, this is quite easy to find out just by going up to the Wi-Fi icon over here in the uh, menu bar. So I'm going to zoom in a little so we can see this better. And we're going to go and hold down uh, control or I actually hold down option and then click on this. And this is going to show some additional information. The part of it that we want here is the IP address. So in this case, you can see it's 192.168.1227. This is the local IP address of the Mac itself. So we're going to go and remember this. So we have both the IP address now and then the port, which our vision is uh, actually running on. Let me zoom back out here. And we can now use these two pieces of information to go and connect the uh, our Vision Pro and its uh, version of Safari over to our Mac and the server that is running over there. So we've got our server started up. Let's go over to our Vision Pro and we're gonna to go to Safari here. And up in the address bar, we're going to first have the IP address of the Mac that we just found. So in this case, you can see it's the same IP address we had before, 192.168.1227. That exact IP address is going to differ. So um, just make sure you enter the IP address from your Mac. And then we're doing a colon followed by the port number. So in this case, it's 8080. Once I have this entered, I'm just gonna go and load the page again. So I'll say enter here. And you can see that we are now loading up the same web page over on Safari on our Vision Pro. So uh, I can go in here, start tapping on the little counter uh, and just testing out to see if interaction works properly on the web page as well with this kind of different touch uh, or eye tracking interaction model, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, again, the key points that we needed here were the IP, or the IP address of the Mac on the local network, which we got from the menu bar uh, with the little wireless icon, and then the port number that the server is actually running on. Once you have these two pieces of info, you should be able to load pretty much any web content over on your Vision Pro. Um, so you should be able to test things out and it's a really nice way to just be able to quickly see if your website works properly. Um, in this case, uh, I can just go and refresh the page if I want to get any changes. So uh, let's say that we made a small change here and instead of having a red box, we're actually gonna have a green box. So I'll say green here, not grieb, green. And now if I go back to Safari on the Vision Pro and hit refresh, we should have a green box instead. So uh, I can go and iterate on things. If your server supports hot reloading, that feature should also just work. Uh, the nice thing about this approach is that it's very independent of whatever server technology you're actually using. As long as you can get the port and the IP address of your Mac, it all should just kind of automatically work. Now, I should also say that this does work uh, for other computers as well. So you do not need to have a Mac for this to work. It should also work for Windows computer computers or Linux computers or other things. As long as they are on the same local network as your Vision Pro, you should be able to access them. Now, the way you would get the IP address would differ a little bit, but you, as you can look up how to get the local IP address of your computer, uh, and then you get the port number, and you can just paste that into the uh, browser bar over on Safari, and you should be able to load up the server there as well. So now you know how you can go and test out web content from your Mac over on your Vision Pro. 
I found that typically the rendering of web content is um, pretty similar to what you get on like an iPad, for instance, but the Vision Pro does have a very different interaction model. So um, you might need to go and tweak some of the user events and gestures and all those types of things to actually make sure your website works properly in Vision OS as well. Now, there are, of course, other ways to go and do this. So you could use a tool like Ngrok or Local Tunnel, any of those tools instead. I personally like this approach just because you don't need to install any tools. You can just go and get the IP address of your Mac, get the server that or the port that it, the server is running on, and then you can go and load up the web content as long as they are on the same local network. It's pretty straightforward and pretty flexible, kind of independent of whatever server technology you're actually using. So thanks for watching, and I hope this video helps you test out your websites on Vision OS as well. Thanks.